Alright, so I'm at this station. Let's just heal up and we will go into the Kirkwood match. Let's do this right now. Here we go, buy a ticket to Kirkwood. Yes, we will. And we will get on that train. Alright, so. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what I said alright so far. Uh, I'm very sorry about that. But uh, anyways, um, enough of rambling. Get your status ready. I already have got it ready. So uh, let's go into a Kirkwood. And there we go. It's uh, it's not made out of wood, it's made out of brick, so it should be Kirk Brick. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> um, I'm sorry about that, that was really stupid. Uh, hey, look over there. Coach Nicholas. Or is it Nichols? I don't know. No, it's Nick. Ni yeah, Nichols. Hey, long time no see, Axel. Eek, it's really him. Oh, I'm such a fan. Can I have your autograph? Celia, why are you so excited? Coach Nicola Nichols used to be a professional footballer. He was amazing. They even chose him for the national team. Really? Wow. <laughs> You're not shy, are you? You've got some good friends here, Axel. It's good that you're enjoying playing football again. Coach. Yeah, looks like we've still got plenty of time before the match starts, like. What's up, Scott? Spiky head. You didn't run away this time. That's right. I'm here to beat you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure it'd be fun watching you try, like. Hope you haven't got rusty over the last year. Yeah, and your goalie had better try not to get blown away by a shot again, like. No, this time it won't fail. Come on, everybody. So yeah, they're really annoying. They keep saying like, like, like in every, like, every sentence. Like, yeah. I know a couple of people who do that in real life. It's, it's, yeah, it's annoying. But uh, anyways, I th can we take Jack off the team or not? Ah, damn it, we can't. Alright, I guess there might be an event. I can't remember. But anyways, we're going with this formation. I know Shadow is kind of just there. You know what? We might actually change Shadow up. Uh, we'll change him for Boomer. Just because it's mountain to mountain. But uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, here we go, Kirkwood. Let's take a look at the team. Um, yeah, the uh, these three are probably the most scariest ones there, because they have Triangle Z. Um, no, actually, he's the only one who has Triangle Z, but uh, everyone else, they have some uh, pretty good one. Boost Glider is insane. This dribble move is honestly really good. Uh, but other than that, oh yeah, Hurricane Arrow as well. Insanely strong. Uh, yeah, he has Counter-Strike. He's not really a COD person, but anyways... Um, <laughs> And uh, Malcolm Knight, uh, if you guys watch the anime, you probably know he's actually a pretty um, cool character. He's actually, he has some backstory. He doesn't have any backstory in uh, in uh, this game. But, uh, I mean, you know what, that's right. But anyways, um, I guess his backstory is filler. I feel really sorry for him. Soon after the whistle had been blown, th three br brothers managed to steal. No, they didn't. That's a lie. Um, but I guess not. Uh, uh, what was his voice? We will school past you just like before. I can't remember his voice. This time I'll definitely save it. Mark is the only voice I can always get right. You know, that's how bad I am at this. And he's going for Triangle Z. Uh, yeah. And then the triangle... Ping! Yeah, okay. Um, anyways. Um, and then here we go, triple defense. Three on three. Here we go. It's weird how it doesn't say triple defense on the bottom. I mean, at least we didn't uh, lose any TP from that, so that's good. Uh, what? He managed to save our Triangle Z. Yes, quick everyone, counter attack. Alright, let's do this. Pass the Todd. Come on, turn up. Oh, damn. Alright, Todd, you gotta do this. Uh, let's do some ghost pull right here. Nice, Todd. I need to give him better defense technique. I will be uh, buying some uh, techniques for everyone. Play the next match, don't worry. Um, I will use the uh, the shop at the station. No, not the station. The uh, the shopping mall or whatever it is. Um, yeah, they have like twin boosts and stuff. So I'll be getting all that. So don't worry about that. But uh, here we go. Let's use the wall. It might even be the first time I actually use this technique. So I don't really use Jack very much. I feel him that because he um his levels are really low most of the time. He doesn't level up very fast. Um, therefore, I don't really like to use him very much. But uh, anyways, they're going for spinning cut. Like I said, in this game, spinning cut is very strong. So uh, yeah, that's about it. But uh, anyways, um, I don't know. Let's try and get this off this guy. Let's use Ghost Pull. Um, I definitely need a, a better defense technique. Like like I just said there, um, because I just failed. Um, can Turner get it off? Did he have a defense technique? I can't remember. Um, but what should I do? I'll use Quick Draw here. And uh, we might go for uh, Inazuma 1, I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so let's bring uh, Axel up here. We'll pass over to Jude. Oh, I might do the Inazuma break. Oh, actually, never mind. Maybe not. Oh, wait. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we will. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Let's do the Inazuma break. It's funny how uh, Inazuma break is 2 TP more than our uh, Twin Boost. Um, Making it sound like it's not a very good move, but granted, this move is freaking powerful, so uh, that's all I'm going to say there. Now we're in a break. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, so here we go. He's using toughness block. Like I said, this is an insanely weak attack. 
Of course it's gonna go in. He does have Counter Strike though, which is actually pretty strong. Um, let's uh, avoid the obvious joke there. But uh, anyways, nice. We got uh, the first goal in the first half. Nice. Don't, uh, I don't know what he said. I don't really care to be honest. And uh, yeah, so um, let's use Axel. We'll use a quick draw. Why not? And he's 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 a failure. I'm sorry, Axel. But uh, yeah, let's get this off with a kill slide. And I guess not. So yeah, like I said, these three brothers or whatever they are, they're really strong. So uh, be careful, they have Illusion Ball and uh, Moon Salt and whatnot. So yeah, no, not like Salt from the Moon, like Moon S-A-U-L-T, like a Salt. Yeah, anyways. Um, anyways, um, enough of the rambling. Let's pause the, uh, what's this guy's name? Um, Hatter, yeah, that's his name. And I'll pause over here. Come on, um, let's use Quick Draw. And uh, we'll get it off this guy, Mirthful. All right. And uh, you know what, let's just go for an in zoom of 1, because uh, I think that's the way to go. That is the uh, the best way to go, let's go for an in zoom of 1. It's funny how an in zoom of 1 is more expensive uh, TP-wise than in zoom of break. I, I just don't understand that, but uh, anyways, here we go, in zoom of 1. Oh shit, he's using Counter-Strike, this actually might be good. And, but it still goes in, so there you go, that's how good Axel is. Go, yes, let's go! Alright, there we go. Mark is just spitting out the rhymes, alright. That went in easier than I thought it would. Don't let these... Uh, I can't remember this voice, but yeah, whatever, that's alright. It's not a story event, so uh, that's cool. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's... Oh, can I use Bruma? Alright, let's use Kill Slide right here. And I guess he's using Illusion Ball, that's okay. And here we go. Nice. Okay. And that's about it for the first half, so I might just use a sliding tackle, it shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, there we go, he's using Illusion Ball, that is awesome, because then we can uh, erase his TP. Um, and he might not even use Triangle Z, so that's cool, half time, nice. Alright. Alright, um, yeah, what's going on? They're much better than they seemed before. Uh, uh, that was this guy's voice, whatever, I don't really care. Whatever, we expected to meet such tame, uh, tough opponents. That's why we trained so hard over the year, last year, like. That's right. Yeah. That's just like Kirkwood. Now never go down without a fight. We've still got some work to do. Come on, everybody. Alright, here we go. And I assume we can take Jack off the thing now. Um, no, we can't. Um, that is just perfect. Um, and you know what? Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, you see? Oh, I see. He's a forest type. I thought he was a wind. Um, that's alright, I guess. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, let's keep playing, and whatnot, let's use a kill slide, come on. Ah, he's using Moon Salt. Thomas, yeah, okay. It's Fubuki Frost. Um, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, I just had to say it. But whatever. Uh, let's use Coil Turn right here. Damn, he's using Moon Salt again. Uh, there you go. That fabulous pose at the end. I wonder what it is. <laughs> but, uh, oh, can I get it off? Yep, okay, cool. Let's use the wall, come on. There we go, Jax the wall is actually really powerful. So if you guys want a powerful defender, there we go. The only problem is he, you know, levels up really slowly, so that's just the one problem. Um, but yeah, if you guys want the wall, go for it. Oh, I don't think he has TP. Oh no, he does, okay. We'll uh, use Inazuma Drop then. Oh, sit. oh, wow, I just couldn't talk then. I don't know what I just said. Inazuma Drop then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, because uh, Jack is uh, actually on the field, unlike always. There we go. And that is the third goal. Kirkwood is nothing. Didn't these guys train for like the last three years or something? Or like the last year, but anyways. Go, oh, yes, let's go! Alright, there we go. Nice, 3 0. Alright. That went in easier than I thought it would. Uh, okay, I don't have to read that each time. I don't know why I read that each time, but I do. I'm not sure why. But uh, yeah, that's alright. Okay. Let's use uh, Aaron here, and we're gonna use a coil turn. No, he's using Moon Salt, that's alright. Um, yeah, okay. Nice. Alright. I guess we'll. Ooh. Uh, come on, Jack. Oh, wait, does he have another wall? The wall? Wow. This guy has more TP than I assumed. Because I remember you could only use it like twice, but I guess that might have been the original Japanese version because, uh, yeah, you know, TP costs and everything were different in that version. Uh, and if you play the e the eShop version, um, then that's different as well. So, just uh, just a heads up, the uh, the cartridge version and the eShop version is a different thing, and it has a different dub, which is really weird. But oh wait, is he going to use a triangle? I don't know. We'll use a triple defense then, just in case. And I guess he is. Uh, but then again, he is a fire, so hopefully we can stop this. Um, but I mean, if not, we got three goals. So anyways, it should be alright. There we go. He's using triangle Z. All right. 
And uh, can we uh, stop this, please? Let's do this. Oh, Nathan. Nice. Triple defense. Nice. There we go. So, uh, yeah, in the eShop version, you can only use um, Todd, Jack, Sam, or Steve for triple defense. Um, but uh, as for the cartridge version, you can um, pretty much use any yeah any character there, uh, or any player, um, I think. I might be wrong. I just learned that just then. So, uh, yeah, I always thought it was just Steve and uh, Todd. Um, yeah, because that's what I always used to use, because I don't really use Sam or Jack very much. But uh, that's alright. Let's use a kill slide. And uh, you know what? I'll go for another Inazuma break. Why not? Uh, let's go for another Inazuma break. Here we go. All right. I love this move. It's so cool. Inazuma break. I wish it was used a lot more in the anime. Um, but I mean, what can you do? Yeah. Um, I mean, Inazuma break was used in third season, I think. Yeah, it was. It was used in third season as like a version of it was like V two or something or V three. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was never used again, which really pissed me off. But uh, yeah, you can actually get Inazuma Break in um, Chronostone, I think it is, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's cool as well. But so anyways, yeah, let's uh, keep doing this. We'll probably win this match. I mean, come on, it's 25 past and uh, we've got four goals. What can they do? Alright, they're using a Moon Salt though. I guess that's what they can do, but uh, that's alright. Let's use Eren. Hopefully he learns uh, Divine Arrow. I seriously want Eren to learn Divine Arrow because... Uh, that is actually really strong. It's it's like a god um, technique. So <laughs> hopefully uh, he will learn that. But uh, anyways, they are using Moon Salter. All right, that's cool. Okay, here we go. All right, and I guess it's the end of the match. So uh, I don't really see a point of doing anything else. Let's just slide this guy. Probably get it off. There we go. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right, let's pass over to Hato, and we'll do a Axel Druid. Come on. Ah, oh, I wonder. Can you get it off him? Nice, of course you can. And that's full time, so hope you guys enjoyed that match. Um, I surely did, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, I won for Raymond. Alright. And uh, I just skipped all that test. It shouldn't be that uh, important though. It's just like you got better and stuff. Why did you. Oh, okay, no, I guess I should read this part because it is kind of important. You didn't run away, did you? There must have been a reason. It's true, I left the match. I'm sorry for the trouble I caused you and your team. <laughs> I see, but I still don't believe that you ran away. I think that Murdoch boy said, said some uh, horrible things to you. I hope you can forgive them. It was a big shock to us when we didn't have you. A shock? Uh, everyone said that we lost the Royal Academy because we didn't have you. They said that the Murdoch brothers weren't enough by themselves. I'm sure they found it hard to lose to you. But the worst thing was they couldn't forgive themselves for having to depend on you to win. Really? I didn't know. Uh, Oi, Ax uh, Oi, Axel! Axel, now that it's come to this, you've got to win. Otherwise, there'll be trouble, like. Keep on aiming for the top, because we're being, uh, we'll be improving too, and next year we'll beat you. You. Okay, that's enough. Let's go home and practice, everyone. No mercy for those who've got get be left behind, like. Yeah. yeah. They're a bit rude, but they really love football, don't they, right, Axel? I just noticed um the they actually turn to kind of good people at the end there. Um, but yeah, the anime they're still a bit of dicks at the end. So <laughs> just letting you guys know. But anyways, yeah, they're all right. Okay, here you go. And uh, we got a lot of level ups, but uh, of course Aaron's not going to learn uh, Divine Arrows anytime soon. Maybe he won't learn it by the time I finish this game. Hopefully he does though, I really do hope. Uh, next is the final against Zeus, the showdown with Ray Dark, and a chance to fulfill my dream of winning the Football Frontier National Finals. It's so close I can almost touch it. Can you now? Okay then. And uh, he's, uh, I forgot this guy's name, what's this guy's name? Um, Smith, Mr. Smith, yeah. Oh Mark, I know you'd be here. Mr. Smith, what's the matter? Well you gather the team around, I've got... There's something I gotta tell you. Yeah. All right. Sure thing. And uh, I guess we're all here. Yep. Jude's on your team now, is he? I found this article in Royal Academy's records room. Jude, you were talking to a Royal Academy student outside the club room before the Kirkwood match. Is this what you were talking about? It's no use speculating. Go ahead and read it. All right. Well, this is pretty old. It's a copy of the Youth Football Journal from 50 years ago. Um, Youth Football Journal issue number one. Veteran footballer Tom Dark dropped from national team. Will he retire? Why is it Tom Dark? Like, ray dark, I understand, because it's a, a, a ray of darkness, but really? Couldn't you think of something better? Like, I don't know. Well, actually, that's a good point. I can't think of <laughs> think of one of myself. Uh, but anyways. Uh, Tom Dark, could it be? Yes, yeah, ray dark's father. His father. Uh, Tom Dark was a great footballer who used to play for the national team. Fifty years ago, there wasn't anyone in the world of football who didn't know about him. But he was dropped from the national team. Yes, that's what, when it all started. Uh, I don't know what he gave him. Why? Why did they drop me from the team? 
uh, youth football journal issue number one. Federal football term duck uh, dropped from national team. Will he retire? Retire, but I'm still fit. Um, Duck is too old. He hasn't been playing well at all recently. Uh, I want a new national team full of fit young players who are sure to win at our next tournament. But football has always been my life. Why? Why? In football, winning is everything. It's not worth, in, uh, it's not worth having Duck on the team when all he brings is a risk of losing. Was this guy in Royal Academy? I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, winning is everything. I'm not worth anything if I lose. Duck's era is over. And yeah, that's about it for the, the backstory there. After being dropped from the team, Tom Dark became obsessed with the idea of winning. The idea that winning is everything. Of course, it was Ray who was most affected by his father's strange obsession with victory. Distraught and ruined by drink, Tom gave up football completely, and he instilled in Ray the idea that anything was permissible in the pursuit of victory. How creepy. Uh, Coach Nicholas told me yesterday that he had been contacted about a proposed backroom deal for last year's final between Kirkwood and Royal. A backroom deal. They asked Kirkwood to throw the match so that Royal Academy could win. They said, we'll, play, we'll pay you a tidy sum to quit. We can't guarantee you safety if you refuse to cooperate. You mean they refused and then Julie was involved in that accident? They went that far to keep Axel Kirkwood's style play away from that match? I won't let him get away with this, no matter what the reason is. There's no excuse for doing people harm just for the sake of winning. Mark. Yes, you're right. Um, the commander, no duck, he's despicable. Uh, I can't allow Ray Dark to go on dirtying the game of football and making everyone miserable. In the final, we're going to beat Zeus. We'll show them that the, uh, that the love of the game is more important than just winning. Yeah, okay. So, that is about it for chapter 9, I think. Um, oh, I guess not. We got a bit of a... Bit of a... I love this music, by the way. I've, this is the, my favorite theme out of this whole game. You cool, Commander? Commander? I was just remembering my childhood. Huh? It is not a pleasant memory. I can never forget it, no matter how hard I try. Is this the youth football journal from 50 years ago? You still have this after all this time. You really love football, don't you, Commander? <laughs> Commander? Did you know I despise football? You incomplete wretch. What, is he, like, strangling him or something? I don't know. And look who it is. Look who it freaking is. I am so excited. Do you guys know this character or not? I, I don't think you do if you ha haven't seen Inazuma, but if you have, you guys know where I'm going. This is the best character in Inazuma 11 history. The only thing I lo uh, love is victory. Yes, winning is everything. You're not worth anything if you lose. Isn't that right, Aphrodite? Here we go. I don't know what I should give him. I feel exactly as you do, my leech. And I'll give him a bit of a posh kind of, uh, you know, flamboyant voice, I think. But uh, anyways... I'm going to end this episode off here, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I surely did, and I am hell of excited for chapter 10, the final chapter. Are you guys ready? And yeah, I'll see you guys next time on chapter 10. Goodbye.